Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to make an isometric pattern in Illustrator. First step, I got to swap it from field to stroke. Click on the stroke. I got to select the black and I got to select the hexagon. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a hexagon. I got to select the pen tool and create a line. Press and hold Shift. I got to select the line and I'm going to double click on the rotate tool. I'm going to type in 60 degrees, click on copy, press Ctrl D and it's going to create a new copy. I'm going to press and hold Shift, rotate it, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift to isolate until they intersect like this. From here, press Ctrl D to create multiple copies. Okay, select them all, right click group and I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift, make sure to intersect them like this. Select both, press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press shift and intersect it again. And from here, press control D to create more copies, select them all, right click group. And now I'm going to select the shape builder tool, press and hold shift plus M, or you can go here and select the shape builder tool. And now I'm going to combine some of the shapes like this and also the left side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the left like this. And on the right right click on group again i'm going to select them right click on group and i'm going to select these three lines in the center drag it out i'm going to select the direct selection tool delete i'm going to swap it from stroke to fill i'm going to click on the swap here and i'm going to recolor them i'm going to make it light gray and select all right click group i'm going to go to the object pattern make decrease the width as you can see, it went too far. So I'm gonna go 17.5. Let's test this out, 17.6. I think it's gonna be seven. Yeah, seven is perfect. Now we're gonna decrease the height, same thing, 20.4. There you go, click here on done. Delete this, select the rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt. And here in the swatches, you can see the new pattern. That looks something like this. So this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of these at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.